Believe it or not, but Apollo Client has updated to Minecraft Bedrock Edition 1.21.50. To get it, you can head over to my Discord server, which is going to be linked down in the description below. Here you want to find the Bedrock category, and then in the Apollo channel, you will find the updated DLL file. By the way, all of these other channels here are different clients too, so this is definitely not a bad place to be. Anyways, as you can see here in my downloads, I have Apollo for 1.21.50 over here. This also, of course, works for 1.21.51. Anyways, because it's just a DLL file, you will need an injector to inject this, and I highly recommend Fate Client Injector, which will also be linked down in the description below. Anyways, here I can simply select the DLL file, just like that, and then click on Inject, and that is going to go ahead and inject it right into Minecraft, as you can see, here it is working for 1.21.50. Anyways, I'll now just briefly head into a Minecraft world and show you what this is all about. Here is a public Casper Sky scan of the DLL file, by the way. So here inside of Minecraft, it's really just only being updated to the latest version, and it's not very different from uh, how we... Alright, apparently I'm, I'm uh, in a different world now, but... Who cares? So to open it up, you can press on the insert button on your keyboard as you would expect. Uh, to use it, it's just like any other client, uh, except it's a little bit broken in a few ways, which I will definitely get to, except, you know, due to the extreme lack of clients uh, for the latest version that are actually good, I have decided to show it anyways, uh, because I thought you guys might appreciate that. And of course, if you don't want to use it because it's a little broken, then of course, just don't. Um, so it doesn't pause the game correctly when you uh, open up the click GUI, which does mean that um, you can still uh, move around a little bit, which is odd. Um, but for the rest, it should all work fine. You will also notice that you don't have a mouse here. And uh, that is why uh, the solution to that is to spam press on the insert button. And that allows you to view your mouse. As you can see, I'm moving it around right now. Um, and move it around as well while still navigating through the click GUI. Then in these areas, you can uh, the mouse will stay where it is and you can use it as you can see. Click to enable the utility, click it again to disable it, right click it, and then that is going to go ahead and give you its customization menu. Then continue spamming, <laughs> of course, right? Now the good news is, is that configs made for older versions of Apollos can still actually be applied to the newer version. Uh, so if you just find a good config or make one on the older version, then you don't need to manage the other click GUI. Plus in your roaming state, you'll also find the Apollo uh, folder over here, which has the option to place the configurations together with the fact that you can also just find a default configurations file and then actually manage the configuration by editing the configurations file in a text editor, for example, as I can open this authentication file with a text editor instead of actually managing it through the click GUI inside of Minecraft. Anyways, here back in Minecraft, let me know down in the comments below if you think that I should have made a video on this, even though it is kind of broken, or if you think that I should have just left it be. Uh, I think this is the right choice. Um, plus, actually, you can also head over to the Click GUI area over here, and then you can actually change the style of this as well. You can change to stuff like um, the Shadow Click GUI, the Rise Click GUI, uh, all of those things too. Um, those could make it easier or harder to navigate. You can decide that for yourself. Anyways, for right now, it's just set to the default Apollo Click QI. Um, anyways, anyways, here are the different styles, actually. There is only the Apollo Shadow Moon Rise styles, which will change the uh, Click QI. So, anyways, uh, for right now, bas basically, that was that. This client should, for the rest, be pretty self-explanatory. Um, of course, if you have any questions or the like, do feel free to leave those down in the description below. Plus, if an updated DLL comes out or something of the like or more information, that will be posted on Discord. For right now, though, thank you ever so much for watching, and I do, of course, hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.